Normal map baking and decals may seem daunting at first, but it's not as difficult as it seems and I hope this tutorial can help you think that way. Please subscribe and leave a like if you enjoy my tutorials. Think of decals as transferring an image to a surface. Instead of actually sculpting all the details to your object with lots of face counts, you can just add a normal map to your shader. Blender makes it even easier by providing a normal matte cap, so let's get started. I brought this hard surface model from another tutorial since it serves the purpose, but I would definitely make one from scratch with more planning if I were to use it on many different models across different apps. We'll do this in solid shading mode. Let's rotate the cube to see the details from top view. I'm going to add a camera and move it up. Press numpad 0 for camera view and let's adjust camera options. Change to orthographic and go to output properties to adjust resolution values to 1024 by 1024. Also go to color management under render properties and change view transform from filmic to standard. Now I'm going to adjust orthographic scale to cover about this much of the object. Let's choose normal matte cap by clicking this drop down arrow. Click on matte cap and choose check normal plus Y and that's it. All you have to do now is choose viewport render image from the view menu and save the image. Not bad, right? It's time to check and see if this really works on another object. I'm gonna hide these two and press Shift A to add a cube. Let's change the shading back to default studio. I'll move the cube up and add some bevels. Shade smooth and check auto smooth. Go to shading workspace and click on new. Shift A to add an image texture node and a normal map node. For image texture, click open and select your saved image file. Color space should be non-color and change repeat to extend. Connect image texture color to normal map color and normal map normal to principled BSDF normal. Let's go to UV editing workspace now. I'm gonna smart UV project first. And click on this UV sync button to see better. Move these UV islands out of the way except the front one and scale the front to fit about here. I'll have to rotate as well. Looks like it's working fine. Let's turn up the metallic value to check better. Looks pretty good doesn't it? To have these details with only 150 faces is just awesome I think. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching guys.